Hi kids! Today we will learn what are grids. So let's get started. Here is a grid. Let's see what are rows. The horizontal partitions in the grid, like this, are called rows of the grid. Now let's see how many rows are there in this grid. One, two, three, four. So there are four rows in this grid, and we can name the rows by numbers or alphabets. So let the names of rows be. One, two, three, four. Now let's see what are columns and how many columns are there. These vertical partitions in the grid are called columns of the grid. Now let's count how many columns are there in this grid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven columns are there in this grid. Let's name the columns A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We have named the rows with numbers and we have named the columns with alphabets. Now let's see what are cells. These individual small partitions are called cells. Now let's see how we can name these individual cells. Let's name the first cell. Its row name is 1, and its column name is A. So it's 1A. Similarly, let's name the other cells in this row. This is 2A, as the column name is A, and the row name is 2. Now let's name this cell. It is 3A as the column name is A and the row name is 3. Similarly, this is 4A. Now let's name this cell, which is shown red in color. Its row name is 2, and its column name is C, so it can be named as 2C. Similarly, we can name any cell using its row name and column name. Now let's learn more on grids. Now here we have a grid. Let's name the locations of all the toy caterpillars. There are three caterpillars. One caterpillar is at second row, so two, and column C, so its name will be 2C. So the position of first toy, caterpillar, is 2C. Other caterpillar is at third row and B column. So we can name its position as 3B. And the other third caterpillar is at fourth row and column and E column. So its position can be named as 4E. Now let's name the location of this teddy bear. It is at second row and D column. So its location is 2D. So kids, now let's move to another example. Here is another grid showing the position of four things. A tree, a monkey, a parrot, and a butterfly. Now let's answer a few questions based on this grid. If the monkey has reached the tree, which path should he take? He should move three cells to left and then one cell up to reach the tree. So its path should be three cells left and then one cell up. Now let's find if the parrot has to reach the tree. Which path should he take? One cell to the right and then two cells up. So its path should be one cell to the right and two cells up. Now let's find if the parrot has to reach the butterfly. 
Which path should he take? He should move two cells to the left and then one cell down. So his path should be two cells to the left and one cell down. So kids, now you know what are grids, what are columns and rows, how to name the locations in a grid. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn and practice more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.